So you want dialogues in your game? Nothing down there. And they flew away. You're making GTA 6 and your characters don't talk? Let's look into a simple dialogue system. We will start off by having a dialogue manager. It will be in charge of displaying dialogues, starting them, and animating the text. But firstly, we need to look at the structure of the dialogue. We will use a recursive structure where dialogues reference themselves. A dialogue will have values like option name, which is the bit right here. Dialogue text, which is what the text will be. You can think of this as a reply from your NPC. Choices include a list of dialogues that can happen from this one. Let's look at an example of me asking for money. I go, give me money. You can say yes, no, or why. Each will result in a different dialogue outcome. We simply make a dialogue for each variation and link them up. In this system, it's important to have a dialogue with no choices, which will end the interaction. Let's start by implementing a dialogue data structure. It will be a scriptable object with three properties previously mentioned. Nothing complicated here. Dialogue manager, which is the mastermind behind everything, is the real deal. Uh, see, I'm telling you, I have the mind of a master. Master, I have the mind of a mastermind. What? So let's see how that's made. In our dialogue manager, as previously mentioned, we have variables that correspond to using and displaying dialogues. Begin dialog will be called when we start talking to an NPC, but also every time we make a choice. Here, I made the dialogue manager toggle cursor to allow user to pick choices and disable player movement. When we run out of choices, meaning the dialog has ended, we revert everything and disable the panel. We need to clear choices every time we have a new dialog. This is to clean up from previous choices. This simply removes all of the buttons. Animate text is responsible for displaying the dialogue. I have a nested coroutine here that builds the text at the speed of 20 characters per second. When everything is displayed, we show choices. Showing choices is just creating buttons for each choice that begin the dialogue. This is the recursive part. And guess what? That's it. We are done. If you'd like NPCs to actually talk... Morning. How much is this? 149 sir. I've got 50p. Fuck you, bastard. In the dialogue, you would just add an audio clip, and inside the game dialogue, you would play that clip. Now for the UI setup. It's very simple. I just have an empty image which acts as the text background. It has two children, the text used to display the dialogue, and an empty object which holds the button choices. It has a horizontal layout group which automatically lays the new buttons out. Simply connect them in the manager and you're done. The dialogue structure might be a bit confusing at first, but this is my example setup. I have a greeting dialogue which has three choices. There is no option name because it is not a dialogue that results from an option. This dialogue text is what the NPC says to me. My valid choices are, you don't need to know, I'm Sam, or have you seen my dad? <laughs> I have this empty by dialogue which is used to end every dialogue. It has no choices and option name is by. For the middle dialogue, the option name is what appears on the button and when we click this option, the dialogue text will appear. Now for the interactions. I'm using my custom interactable system. The tutorial for that is in the top right corner. However, you can use buttons, triggers, whatever you want. You simply call the begin dialogue on your root dialogue. 